Hello, my name is Dominic. I'm in charge of our rental events here for our parish hall. And also, I'm in charge of the uh, direct service ministry that helps out uh, those that are most needy in our community. But today I'm here to talk about our stewardship campaign. Over the last several weeks, you've heard from members of our staff and other key volunteers of our parish community. But you have yet to hear from our most important parishioners. I'm a fourth grader. I'm in kindergarten. And I'm in sixth grade. I'm in fourth grade. I am from third grade. I'm in sixth grade. I am in fourth grade. I am in fifth grade. I am in fourth grade and I am 10 years old. Uh, yes, I've heard of other churches closing because I came from two and I'm only 10 years old. It's sad to hear about it. Uh, I have a few friends that still come to St. Paul's, but not very much. Which feels a bit wrong to me because everybody deserves to know how God loves us and how He was. Some people have been in that church for more than they can remember. I don't like the idea of churches closing. It's like a part of you is just gone and the community starts to fall apart a little. My first church that closed was St. Anne Catholic Church, and my second church was St. Adalbert's. If people were to close it, I would just feel very angry because just because they couldn't bring people into the church. I would probably feel broken. St. Paul has been the only church that I felt connected with and it's the only church that I feel like I could go every Sunday that I look forward to. Is that hard to talk about here? Yes. Thinking of it closing means that you have to go to a new church because it's kind of like your second home. Like that's the place I go every Sunday. A long, long line of just trust and happiness had been like broken off without any explanation. It's a part of us, and you feel a little like left alone. This church I feel really connected with. I get to sing in the choir loft. I get to be involved in my church, so yeah. What I like about St. Paul Church is that it's, um, it's where families come and enjoy the Mass. We have all the people who are in the community in one place and it's it's really nice having everybody there. It's fun, it's enjoyable, there's a bunch of fun activities. It has two masses that either one is in Spanish and one is in English so if you know both of them you can attend both of them but if you only know one then you can listen to that one. Uh, a lot of the community is nice here. I like St. Paul because I like art to serving. I can feel comfortable with people, uh, that I could feel like they're my own family. That it seems like there's always like a new thing happening and they're always building up and never going down. And like if you don't want to go in person, you can see it in live stream and Facebook, which is really good if you ask me. I like St. Paul because it's fun. Well, I would say that can you please save my church because I want to be when I'm really old like when I'm got like 80 years old I want to make sure that when my like when I have great grandchildren I want to make sure that they're attending this amazing church because it's amazing it has everything you need to know it's like the most beautiful place ever I want to be a priest one day and I want to be able to serve at this church please donate to St. Paul Church so we can have fun Please sign up today and um, and help the church um, so because I'm uh, because this church means a lot to me and and I want to bring my kids here so then I could tell them all my stories that I, all my all my memories that I had here at this church. I know that COVID has been rough and all. It's been a bit of a run for all of us. But if you could just give us some money for our church, it would be a real help. I would like people to donate because it will help St. Paul um, grow bigger. To all the grown-ups that are watching right now, 
All I ask is that you bring your friends, your family, because even though the church is growing, one in 10 or 20 years, and there's not enough kids as there are grown-ups, there won't be enough people in the parish to support it. I just like to say, like, please keep this church open a little longer because it's just a really big place for everybody in the community. It really means something for all of us. So I just like for it to stay open a little longer. Um, I definitely feel like I'm going to be a part of the St. Paul Church when I grow up. I would give donations every week for, with, uh, with $30. People are making sure that this church is still open, so I think I'm gonna be here when I'm an adult. I'm here when I'm an adult. I will probably help out with Alpha. I'm gonna stay here and make sure I'm gonna help out, make sure that everything's looking like how it was right now. Because in 20 years, a lot can happen. Like stuff can break, so I wanna be here to fix it. Because I want everybody to experience the beautiful place of St. Paul.